All right, this is how do we do our macros for the booty challenge, hardcore fitness style. I'm uh, gonna try to make this as simple as possible. So what we need to do is first thing, my fitness pal, that's what MFP stands for. Download it on your phone. Um, every phone, Android, iPhone, everybody has it. Get the app. Um, I'll go through it on my phone here in a second. Uh, that's the first thing you need to do. Then what we gotta do is we need to figure out our macros and we need to input them into the phone. So before we get to the phone, what I want you guys to do is you're gonna take a piece of paper and you're gonna write down your weight. So for example, if we are 100 pounds, which I highly doubt any of us are, um, we're gonna take our protein and we're gonna times that by 1.25. So your protein in your phone is gonna be 125 grams. Now since this is a, a booty challenge and we're trying to feed the booty to grow the booty, I'm gonna say I want us to go at 1.5 grams per pound. So you would set your carbs at 150. Now this is a number that uh, Larry and myself will have to adjust depending on where you're currently eating, um, if you are still in the weight loss pro process or if you're trying to um, gain a little bit of weight or we're just trying to take a little time off before the next challenge. And then fats, um, I think standard that we should all just go for 40 grams, um, depending on where we're at. If we're already averaging 50 or 60 grams, if you've been putting this stuff in your phone, we can keep it at 50 or 60 grams, but 40 is a good um, safe amount to keep it here. I don't think we really need a carb cycle for this. Um, and fiber, at 150 grams, I would say at least 15 grams of fiber should be our, our target. So this is very, very simple. Um, I don't think we should have too much of an issue with that. So let's go ahead and see how we could do this on our phone. So you're going to go to your phone and you're going to uh, let's see if you get there. My Fitness Pal. It loads. Um, I really recommend. Let's see if I could. There we go. I really recommend um, upgrading. And when you upgrade, it's going to make this a hundred times simpler for everybody. Um, that's my macros. What's left of the day. Um, but when you upgrade, you could actually change the numbers and not the percentage. So go to premium, just get the premium. It's a million times easier. Um, you're going to go to goals. Um, I would put your weight in there to start and maybe a goal weight. Don't ever touch it again. Because what happens is every time you enter your weight in there, it changes different goals. Um, your activity level, weekly goal. Honestly, a lot of this stuff is not very necessary right now. But what you're going to do is you can get in here, you're going to go to calorie macronutrients. And you don't even need to type this in because now if you have the upgraded version where it says grams, you have to have the upgraded version to do that. You could actually set your macros here. You could spin them, change them, save them. Um, my low days right here, it's 190 grams of carbs, 250 grams of protein, 40 grams of fat. Um, and what's really cool with the updated version is you could actually go in and add in your carb cycling days. You could pick different days for different cycles. Um, so here on my high day, which is tomorrow, I will do 500 grams of carbs, 225 protein, and I drop my fats down to 25. You could save it, pick what day you want to do it in. Um, you could leave it just on Friday. For me, it's going to be Friday. You're going to go back. So down here, you got your workouts. Um, once you set this stuff, I would just leave it. I wouldn't input my cardio because same thing when you start to change the cardio and you add in there, it changes a lot of your numbers. So you're going to go back to your main menu, go in here. So this is how um, I have mine set up. What I would recommend is going online. You can't do it from your phone. Go in and change it to meal one, meal two, meal three, meal four, meal five, and I do supplements. Um, if you do the standard, it comes, it's like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and that's it. And then everyone's trying to slam their meals into three. It's just a lot easier for me personally to break it up. So how do we enter the food? Um, you know what? I ate meal four and I haven't put it in yet. So you go add food. I eat a lot of the same foods. 
Add six ounces of chicken again, four ounces of potatoes, add. Um, it's as simple as that. Then I see I've got 437 grams of or calories left. If you click that, um, here's your chart and it will tell you pretty much what you got left. I've got 73 grams of protein left. I got eight grams of carbs, which I know I'm pretty much out. Um, and I've got 18 grams of fat. I already know what I'm gonna have for dinner. It's gonna be salmon and asparagus. So I'm back out here. How do I find new items? So you're gonna go to add food. Um, say I want to go to Starbucks. Oh, well, look what comes up. We got brown sugar at Starbucks. Um, well, double double. So this is my go-to at In and Out. I go double double. Um, you always want to go in and verify your macros on these things. So I'll say I had a double double. Um, and here's my favorite skinny peppermint mocha by Starbucks Grande. I look at the numbers, make sure that's pretty legit, and boom, add those. Oops. So now those are in there. That was double doubles. It took me over my numbers. I'm in the negative red zone. Now, if you want, you can make it simple. There's this little barcode area. Reduce sugar ketchup. This is the most accurate way to get your macros. Um, it's already detailed if you go by the barcode. You have to double check your proteins, your carbs, your fats. So what you're going to do is go to Calorie King, Almond Butter, Search, Unsalted. I want to go by ounces or where we at? ounces. I want to eat four ounces. So I'm going to see that that's 67 grams of fat. 24 grams of carbs and 17 protein. So when I go back in to my fitness pal, I need to make sure those numbers match these because people put whatever they want in here. But your food stay the same, they stay saved. So if you're eating similar to the same stuff, these are all the same things that I eat pretty much um, over and over. So it's not that difficult to look it up. It just stays in there. You gotta weigh it by ounces or grams. I um, need to make sure you do that correctly. Um, let's get back out of here. So I didn't really eat that stuff, so I'll swipe here, delete, swipe there, delete, swipe there, delete. Um, I still have room for meal five. It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions, you can have to contact one of us, but it's pretty cool. You could add your friends on there. People could actually, you could peep and creep and see what other people are eating. You could check on your friends and make sure that they're eating. Um, you know, I can go see, this is a client of mine. So, so far, she's had butter, awesome, and whole grain bread, um, cool. And so, you can go, um, it's cool, it's like a whole nother little community of just people here eating food. Um, I hope this works. Uh, if we got more questions, give us a uh, message on Facebook or in the Booty Challenge group. Alright, cool.